Welcome to Fit for Faith with Jacqueline. I am Jacqueline and it is day 89 of the 90 days of faith and fitness challenge, guys. One more day left. Whoa. We're going to start with the Bible verse and I'm going to give you an action step for your day. And of course, you know what it is. We're going to get up on the wall and on the floor and do a wall sit plank prayer. Let's get into it. Oh, and welcome if you are new here, you become a Fit for Faither right now. Boom. Welcome. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you know every time I post a video, like, comment, and of course, everybody, share this message because somebody needs to hear the word of God. Plus, there's three verses today. Let's go. To prepare for 2021, I have three Bible verses that we can pray and meditate on. Number one being Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, Do not be anxious but about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Amen and amen. So, don't be anxious, y'all. And I'm saying that to myself because I'm super anxious about the year starting and I'm like, I always get anxious around this time, wanting to start off correctly, have everything prepared. It's not possible. It is not possible. So I need to relax. If you're like me, relax. <sighs> Take a deep breath and just let it come day by day. It doesn't matter that there's, it's a different day. It doesn't matter that it's a different year. What matters is that you stay steadfast in the Lord that you continue to do or you start putting him first and asking him for what you need, yeah? I ask him to calm me down. I'm asking him to deliver greatness, deliver so many things that I need for 2021 and for others. Calm it down and pray about it. Number two, Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Do you not feel like we are in the wasteland in 2020 right now? Like in Lion King, we are in the elephant graveyard right now, for real. Everything is dried up. Bones are looking real brittle. We looking tired out here in these streets, yet he is making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. He will give you what you thirst for. He will give you what you need. We just have to, again, forget the former things. We can't dwell on 2020. If we sit here and dwell on all the negativity and craziness that has happened in 2020, we're not going to get to 2021, even if the date changes. We'll still be stuck back there, trudging through, dragging our legs, you know? Forget about it. Don't dwell on it. He's doing a new thing in a new year for a new you, but he's the same him. Number three. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When you're born again, that old person, you shed it away. You kill it off. It dies off. Yeah? And that old person might want to creep back in. Believe me, I know. But he's doing a new thing in us. We are a new creation when we confess the name of Christ. When we confess that he is our Lord and our Savior. He's done it for us already. So therefore, we've become new. We've said, I'm letting go of all those things that I was in 2020 and before that. And I'm moving on to a new and better version of me. The version of me that God knows that I can be. Although that old me, he still loved. But... This new version of me exalts him even more. This new version of me is closer to him. This new version of me is who he wants me to be. And it's not going to be overnight, guys. But we know where we're headed. 
he already knows where we're headed. Isn't that such a peaceful thing to think? Oh, wow. He knows where I'm going, and it's to great things. It's to streamlands with water flowing and prosperity, not just with money, but in my spirit and the, with the people around me. Check out the video that I just did about checking your circle. Make sure you have people around you that are trying to do new things, that are trying to be positive, that love God, that are not holding you down and bringing you back to that past you. Because old Jackie ain't here. It's Jacqueline from now on. Okay? And now for our bonus verse. Ephesians 4.24 Put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So we're, see we're hearing a lot of new, 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 new. I'm new, new because I rock that new, new eh, beep if you know the movie ATL. That's what I'm referencing. Anyways, all of these verses say new in them, almost all of them. We're, we're putting on a new self. It's like we're putting on a whole new coat, a whole new outfit. And you know when you put on a new outfit, even a new pajama set? Shout out to my mom for giving me like 15 pajama sets for Christmas. She went overboard, but I am obsessed. I needed them all. So... When you put on a whole new pajama set, you feel fresh and clean and so comfortable and good. And that's what we're doing. But to level it up a couple of notches, we're, we're doing it to be like God. So it's not just putting on something new and feeling good, but it's actually transforming. It's transformative. So all the time may not feel good. That's the difference. It may not always feel good to become this new self, to walk with Jesus, to deny your flesh, to deny those things that you once were doing when you were that old Jackie. But now as this new Jacqueline, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes the new pajama set, it's a little itchy. Sometimes I got to wear it a couple times to wear it in and get more comfortable with it and understand how to wear it, how to make it look good to others, how to walk righteously and holy so that others are attracted to it. Woo, that's a word, Lord. Speak through me today. God is so good, y'all. That being said, the action step for today is what are you going to let go? What part of you are you gonna let die off so you can have room to put on a whole new self for the new year? What are you going to trash? Type it down in the comments. Let's get real vulnerable up in here. I'm gonna also type it in the comments, guys. Also down below in the comments, I'm gonna let you know where I got this shirt, which is from Love in Faith. And my discount code is Jacqueline27. So go get yourself a shirt. Ay. All right, time to get up on the wall and do this wall sit, then plank prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for doing a new thing in us every day. It doesn't have to change a calendar year for us, for you to do the work that you do in us because you do it every day, Lord. You do it every single day. Thank you for letting each day be an opportunity to be a new year for us, a new us, that we can put on a whole new self and let go of who we used to be, Lord. Thank you that you are so steadfast in loving us and changing us and making us more like you, Lord. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to do that every single day, Lord. We don't deserve it, yet you give it. And we are here today to say we are willing and able because you've equipped us to be able to do it. And Lord, I thank you for giving us the tools and the weapons to fight off the enemies, the tools and the weapons to fight off ourselves, the tools and the weapons to know when it's your voice and somebody else's, Lord that we are with you, you are with us every step of the way, every leap, every fall, every backslide, you stay right there with us, inside of us, Lord. 
and over us, around us. And I ask that you continue to do that for everyone that is with me today, Lord. That you are constantly pouring out your love onto them and into them, Lord, so that they may be able to do it out unto others, Lord. Because whew, we couldn't love if we didn't have your love, Lord. And your love is Oh, your love is above any other love, Lord. I got love today. Thank you. Thank you for your precious and mighty, forceful, truthful, harsh love at times, Lord. We need that. We need that wake up call, that smack, that listen, I'm here for you. And you do that for us every day, Lord. And we thank you. Plank, guys. Plank, plank, plank. And we thank you that we are not left alone to our own vices because we would not be able to get through this crazy whirlwind of life, this crazy whirlwind of 2020. Lord, it's ending, but your favor isn't ending because although 2020 was a mess, you were clear as day, Lord. And I thank you for giving us clarity in all that we were handed in 2020 you stayed our constant you stayed our gem even when people fell to the wayside jobs things money fell to the wayside you stayed who you were always and always do every single day lord thank you oh thank you thank you thank you in your precious and mighty name, amen and amen. Woo! A minute left. That prayer made me feel like I wasn't even working out. Should have kept praying. Woo! Keep praying if you need it, guys. Try to keep your hands, wrists right under your shoulders. Booty down, hips down. And keep it going. We got this. Yes, we do. Oh, I turned my light down. I'm like, why am I so dark? <laughs> 30 seconds. This is the longest I've kept my butt down, guys. I'm shifting a little bit, but my form is right. <sighs> Woo, we got this. 10 seconds left. Tomorrow is five minutes, so 250 on the wall, 250 on the ground. And we're done. Thank you guys so much for joining me today in all our days. Tomorrow is our last day of the 90 Days of Faith and Fitness Challenge. I can't believe it. I can't believe we, we've made it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Subscribe, comment, like, notification bell. Let's be friends.